Hi, this is Dr. Jason Lee, clinical immunologist and allergist practicing in Toronto, Ontario. In lecture one, we talked about the immune system. In lecture two, we'll be talking about allergies and building on the concepts learned in lecture one. Allergies are important in asthma because one in five of us have allergies, and in those that have allergies, they're much more likely to have asthma. And let's learn what this is. An allergy, by definition, is a type one hypersensitivity reaction. There are four types of hypersensitivity reactions, one, two, three, and four, by the Gell and Coombs classification. A hypersensitivity reaction is an abnormal pathologic response to an antigen that results in harm to your body. As I mentioned, our immune systems are bombarded with antigens on a daily basis. However, our T cells are fairly good at differentiating friend from foe. When it misidentifies something benign, such as a dust mite protein or a grass pollen, it will mount a response to fight it. The issue is, these pollens are fairly ubiquitous and present all the time. As such, in an effort to fight this pathologic organism that your body has misidentified, it creates a series of inflammatory cascade. The innate systems are activated, in particular the mast cell and eosinophil in asthma. In the content of these cells are various proteins that mediate further inflammation and recruit more inflammatory innate immunity cells to the site of inflammation. Anytime these cells are activated, a series of other cytokines or chemical signals are released. In addition to this, chemokines are sort of chemical attractant molecules that allow white blood cells in the blood to get to the site of inflammation. This is how more immune cells are recruited and contribute to ongoing inflammation. The adaptive immune system, and in particular the regulatory cells, are largely responsible being the quarterbacks of the immune system. Usually, the innate and adaptive immune system works together seamlessly and doesn't cause pathology or a hypersensitivity type 1 reaction. We mentioned that the mast cell is coded by IgE through the FC epsilon R1 receptor. As such, when your body has mistakenly identified something as a parasite from something like a pollen, it will mount this response by converting your B cell into a plasma cell that secretes more and more IgE. Sometimes this process can get out of hand in processes such as Turek Strauss, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, and other things that will drive even further IgE. IgE levels have been fundamentally linked with increased chance of developing asthma and increased chance of death from asthma exacerbation. Eosinophils, when activated, will also recruit more eosinophils to the site of inflammation. They will also promote more recruitment and activation of T effector cells as well as mast cells and eosinophils. Again, this is a positive feedback loop of immune system dysregulation. That is all for this lecture.